What's going on everybody? We normally don't do unboxing videos, but the new 10th edition Balance Update Meta is hype, and our lovely sponsor Warfire Minis has provided us with a ton of new models, and we just want to show you that we are going to be hopping over the next couple weeks Absolutely. and some of the cool stuff uh, that we're getting. This is either to fill out a collection, uh, spam out some great units that now exist, or just some uh, kind of like things that we've always wanted to add. Absolutely. I've been using the phrase breathe new life into X a whole lot, and that's because that's been happening a lot over uh, like over the last, I don't know, six hours or something. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, if you haven't checked it out, check out our live uh, balance update video. Jack and I sat there for three hours and broke down every single thing from the rules commentary, the uh, balance data slate itself, and all the points. And some of these units uh, made quite... Uh, Quite an improvement from there. <laughs> Too right. All, All right. right, so let's get into it. If you uh, if you haven't bought anything from Warfire Minis, we cannot recommend it enough. They also have a model trade-in program. Mm -hmm. um, so, you, you know, you, you, have a friend you like send Nick in Donavati. all kinds of Beat garbage, yeah. broken models that you had since you were 12 or whatever. They'll take them. They'll Space give you store credit bikes for them. without bikers on them. They will find a way to use those. They will take those and they'll give you store credit. They don't care. <laughs> and they send you stuff fast. Mm -hmm. They sure. literally ordered this like this morning, boom, arrived. Yes. Next <laughs> That's day. how quick they are. All right. So let's uh, let's dig in. All right. So a couple paints, obviously going to need a lot of texture paint, a lot of known oil, and a lot of base paints, but that's not what you're here for. You're here for the models. The models. So All right. we got the uh, Death Guard. The Death Guard box, as it were. We need a lot more Death Guard. This faction is a real army now. They are real boys. They they, they, <laughs> they grew up fast. They grew up so they grew fast. Up. So we got a bunch of Plague Marines. Uh, I think it's at least two boxes of those bad boys. We got some Death Shroud Terminators. Quite an improvement. Just everything is cheaper in this army. So you got a lot more stuff. We got two of those boxes. Death Shroud Terminators. Yep, gotta love those Death Shrouds. They flame pretty good, they punch pretty good, and now they are significantly cheaper. And they love their friend, the Lord of Virulence. They're quite virile with those flamers. Uh, I, uh, yes. I don't know enough about Death Guard if he can actually go in that unit, I think so. He can, he can. He gives them real wounds, actually, uh, which is very good because their flamers love that. Nick's favorite Death Guard model, the Tally Man. That's who, right, who tallying tally, them bananas. Who tallies I've bananas. heard that maybe 70,000 times. Too many, I'd say. Two Mephitic Blight Haulers. Ah, we've got uh, some more Death Shrouds. More Death Shrouds. And then we got some Blight Lords as well, the other Terminator variant. I know Quentin is enormously excited about Death Guard and has been doing a series. So if you haven't checked it out, he's been painting different Death Guard models and uh, has chosen a brand new scheme. So I uh, look forward to that. Two of the Blight Haulers. All right, moving on to other armies. Although maybe in this box, we haven't actually taken this all out. So maybe in this yeah, box there's more Death Guard. Yeah, I have actually no idea what's in here. <laughs> but we got some Grey Knight Strike Marines. This is for my personal collection. I'm gonna assemble them. I'm gonna own the entire army. I'm very excited. All right, I've already got about 20 Terminators, so this, uh, oh look at that, rounds it out. Two more boxes of Grey Knight Terminators to get the even 30. Very excited to run oh, that list. They are so good. They are so good now. <laughs> They're so good now. Very excited. We got Gaunt's Ghosts, which if you haven't read the books, I would heartily recommend it. Mm -hmm. And also their unit went down. It was already pretty good. Yep. We've got five more Light Lord Terminators. So they go to make a full 10 man with the five we already had. Absolutely. We've got five more Brotherhood Terminators, which uh, some of my models had a. These are these are for you? I just need one model in there to make the Ancient with Psy Cannon. Don't worry, you got it. I think I need to fill in some poor loadout choices from, uh, <laughs> Previous. from previously. We've got rounding out our collection of Thunderwolf Cab. This should give us the full 18. So Space Wolf Thunderwolf Cab going down was probably. So 180 points for, for six yeah oh, they're 30 six. points a model you can get uh i think it's 480 for or 540 for 18. yeah kind of ridiculous a lot of 30 point uh, t uh what is it t6 t6 four wounds three up four up um with mount attacks and claw attacks at that price well. they are literally like efficient skirmishers they don't even have to be a killing blow yep but you can take 18 and run them down and boy do we have 18. Hey. Someone's getting run down. I have been dying to get kill team boxes, and they've been out of stack, uh, out of stock constantly. I finally got the crew one. Okay, these guys went down a lot. They were 105 points. I believe they're 70 now. Yeah, they were garbage at 105. But they are a cheap infiltrator that has a lot of bodies, and they are pretty good at tying things up. So um, I'm actually willing to build and paint them. 
Absolutely. All right, we got some world eaters. We got uh, 20 corn berserkers, two boxes. Ooh. So they went down. They are now 20 points a model and uh, a much more of a steal. Slam them in a rhino. That's right. We got two boxes of Necron Ooh. Locust Heavy Destroyers. These guys only went up five points per model, which I think still makes them probably one of the more an uh, efficient anti-tank choices, especially with Doomsday Arcs going up to 215. Absolutely. We've got a great unclean one. The great unclean one How went unclean? down to 250. How so unclean he's pretty he unclean. <laughs> uh, he's great. <laughs> Greatly unclean. We've got one for you. One for oh, you to hold yeah. up. Scorpius Disintegrator slash Dune Rider. I'm going to promise you it is not the Disintegrator that I will be building. You already have three of those. I so do I already have three. Uh, but the transport with those cheap troops is uh, dynamite. All right. And then last up, Rogaldorn. Rogaldorn Battle Tank, probably one of the coolest battle tanks in the entire game. They really nailed this one. Yep. Knocked Fantastic. it out of the park. And uh, it got a really nice decrease. I think John wants to bump up to at least two of them, if I not three. I think they went down 20 points, and they're very good. Yep. Uh, I already know someone who's been running them to great success, and uh, they're going to get better now that they're cheaper and other options have gone down. You can make a coherent like tank list sort of thing. So Absolutely. I'm very excited for that. We are going to be build busy building and painting these over the uh, next couple weeks. So look forward to seeing all these different models on stream. In the War Room right now today is uh, two different games with the balance update. We have Grey Knights versus Necrons, as well as uh, Death Guard themselves and Tyranids, new Codex Tyranids with the new balance points for the first time. So please sign up. And it's a three-day free trial, thewarroom.vhx.tv, and there's tons of other content in there, but just sign up, watch the games, and enjoy yourself, because we have tons and tons of new 10th edition balance stuff coming out very soon, including next week, State of the Faction videos um, on pretty much every faction over the next, like, say, two and a half weeks. All right, very excited for that, very excited for the changes that have come out today, and... Uh... We're gonna just disappear back to Titan, but we'll be back. Mrs. Deimos. <laughs> Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you next time.